everyone. This is Catherine Clark. Uh, welcome to this very short educational video, which is today is going to be about the position of the fingers on the bow. So one that needs to be viewed many times. So first I take my bow out of the box very carefully and I tighten it a little bit, as you know, a little bit. And then I will put it back safely in the box and show you and you can do the exercise with me. So imagine you're holding a ping pong ball and you want to gently bounce it, not too high, just gently bounce it. Okay, so you're not going to hold it like this or like that. It's not very heavy, right? So just like that. And now we just stop and the hand naturally comes straight in line with the arm. So if I look at this posture without moving it, you can see that the thumb is a little bit curved and there's a dome there, my fingers are relaxed. Now if I stretch my thumb out, those fingers become tight. If I put it in and bend it too much, the fingers become tight as well. You're welcome to try this. So that's, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so what you want is that the feeling of the ball very light and the hand relaxed, but with energy flowing. So the straight line that I talked about before. And now the bow fits very naturally in this position. But of course, at the beginning, it will feel uncomfortable. So I will describe where your fingers should go. And gradually, by correcting and correcting yourself, they will get used to it. Okay, so the thumb is the same way, as I said before, a little bit bent. So if you look in here, the corner of my thumb here is touching this part of the bow. I know it's weird, it's not here, it's not in there, it's there, and it doesn't pop out, it's just the corner. So we need to have short nails. Then the fingers just relax above it, and the little finger has a very important role and is on the top. So again, short nail place, otherwise it will slip. Usually you can see on the bows, mine has a cover, but this one doesn't, and there's a there are angles on the top and the back angle is where my little finger goes and this way it won't slip. So not the top flat, but just that angle before. All right. Okay. So we have this movement that can go forward and back. We have about the same distance between each fingers. And I say it's a bit like, like the legs of a spider. They're flexible, however, they're dynamic. So I don't make them all loose and the ball drops. And they hold the bow this way. Little finger round on the top back side. Those two fingers go lower. They don't go on the top there. They're a little bit lower. And the index is laying down a little bit. And the bow goes here between the two joints. Now an exercise that is really good for beginners and to do above a bed or a carpet is to try and walk up with the fingers and all the fingers lift up and they walk. We go up to the top like that very slowly so not as fast as I'm doing now and then we go back down and it's, it's a bit like pulling a rope for these little fingers but you can see that my little one is very active and I will suggest some exercises in another part of my educational videos especially for the bow because without the bow no sound all right we can play pizzicato but not the beautiful violin sound all right so once again relaxed all around and it fits in there. The thumb, remember, a little one on top. This one laying down. Those two a bit lower. You can see that one is about on the circle there. And a nice straight line. So do that many times. Put the bow down. Try again. Put the bow down. Try again. Relax your hand and try again. Thank you very much for listening.